Support for this podcast comes from NetSuite. NetSuite lets you run your business from your phone, so you can see what's going on with your company in real time. Go to netsuite.com slash podcast to get your free guide and find out why NetSuite is the last business system you'll ever need. You are tuning in to a Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Inner Speak Soul Adventures radio show with Gene Adrian. Gene is the creator of Inner Speak, a method for clearing karmic and ancestral blocks. She's the author of four books and two decks of metaphysical clearing and activation cards. Jean offers private sessions via phone or Skype as well as her office located in Blairsville, Georgia. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call in number is 657-383-1895. Enjoy this soul healing show. Good afternoon, happy Monday, and welcome to Inner Speak Soul Adventures. I'm so pleased that you have chosen to join me here today. I'm excited about today's show. I'm just excited about this week because this is the week that I am moving to Tallahassee, Florida. And as my producer just reminded me, we're going to have to redo our show intro because my office is moving. So that's just very exciting. And before we get started, I pulled one of my DNA cards, the Reconnecting Soul 142 DNA Activation Cards, to see what was ready to be activated for all of us today. And I thought it was very appropriate because the card that I pulled is Emergence. And what it says about Emergence is that this activation represents your emergence into the fullness of your light. And the reason why I think that that's so appropriate, I don't know how many of you guys already subscribe to my newsletter, but I put one out yesterday. I do it maybe once a month or twice a month, not very often, um, only when I have something important to say. And uh, what I talked about yesterday was that I'm in the process of reinventing myself. Um, and emergence just ties right into that because, you know, the old gene, um, certainly the one before the eclipse last week, but definitely the one a year ago, doesn't exist anymore. And I'm just changing up everything in my life, it seems, Uh, you know, moving to a new city, um, a new home, and uh, just, yeah, yeah, changing everything. So I'm very excited about that. And it's just it's interesting, the synchronicity, because my producer just let me know that she pulled that very same card today, too. That is just so cool. All right, so I'm getting ready to start doing readings for anyone who would like to avail themselves. Um, and the number to call in is area code 657-383-1895. When you call in, be sure to press 1 um, so that, uh, the producer will know that you're wanting a, a reading and not just wanting to listen. And if you're like me, sometimes I have to press one several times before I get that confirmation back from Blog Talk that says you are now in the host queue. Um, there's also one more thing I wanted to say before I take my first caller, and that is that I mentioned my newsletter. If you're not already on my newsletter list, if you'll go to my website, which is jeanadrian.com, J-E-A-N-A-D-R-I-E-N-N-E.com, and if you sign up for the newsletter at the top right-hand home page, then I will gift you with a free subscription to the online version of these cards that I'm using today to do readings and clearings. My gift to you, you can use them on your computer, on your phone, Uh, in the privacy of your home, and you can do your own clearings. So I'm trying to empower you to take responsibility for your life, to clear your past, and to create the reality you desire. All right, so my first caller is area code 415. Hello, I think this is Ann, right? Hi, yes, it is. Thank you. Hi, Ann. So how can I help you today? Um, I would like... If you could look at a past life about um, food 
and scarcity and hunger because I've never had any issues with food in this time, lifetime, like, you know, with my childhood or my parents always provided, you know, always had nice food. But there's still, there's, I always seem to worry, like I worry about not having food, but there's no conscious, there's no reason for it. Okay. Um, so just take a moment, surrender to spirit, and ask for help. Now, with my work, uh, when I pull the cards, uh, yeah. it's going to take you to where this was set up, and it might necessarily be a past life. Sure, true. So in this case, a uh, card that I pull for the source says parallel or future life. So this means that there's another dimensional aspect of you who is worried about having enough to eat, um, and it's a bleed through. So you're feeling this being's pain or her anxiety or whatever. Um, it's not yours, but it's not necessarily a past life thing. Oh, okay. So, let's see what her setup is. So I'm going to pull two of the orange cards. Oh, man. And I'm seeing her, actually. Uh, this is interesting. Um, so uh, she's in a marriage where her husband's cheating on her, lying to her about it. And he's also um, financially abusive. So she doesn't have enough money to buy the food that she needs to feed her family mm. or herself. Uh-huh. Um, so it, there is just, mm, yeah, <laughs> that's not very pretty. Okay. Um, so let's see what this is doing to her soul because this is where you connect with her. And what this mm. is doing to her soul is it's wounded her self-worth and her instincts. Um, and so you're connecting in and, and you're instinctively tying into her, which is not appropriate. So we're going to get you separated from her. And there's a stuck belief. And that stuck belief is I don't deserve any better than this. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's clear this. <laughs> That's enough. I think we know what's going on. <laughs> and you're not you're not your story and you're not this other dimensional aspect of yourself. So let's pull three of the clearing cards. Okay. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to call in an angel. And I want this to be your guardian angel. And I want you to send your guardian angel to this woman in another dimension, wherever she is. And ask this guardian angel to help her activate self-worth inside herself and help her to activate her own personal power and help her to remember her truth. And allow your guardian angel just to um, help her to feel safe and protect her. And then what I want you to do now is I want you to go find her. I want you to take her by the hand. And I want you to walk together with her into the violet flame of transformation and allow the beautiful violet flame of St. Germain to burn away all this scarcity, all this lack. And just stand there in the violet flame with her as long as you need to, till you feel complete. And she has a message for you. So what mm-hmm. I want you to do is I want you to pretend like you're holding up a big piece of paper. And just let her write the message that she has for you on this piece of paper. And when she's done, turn the paper around and read what it says. Um, Just the word love came forward. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that I saw then in the very bottom of it was you are enough. Mm. Okay, so... You receive blessings from the angels for having the courage to help her and help yourself. And so the first blessing you receive is the return of your authority, your power, and your confidence. Your second blessing is centeredness and calmness that enables you to see and accomplish your purpose. 
And the final blessing is opening to miracles. Woo, that's great. So it's gratitude that owns every clearing in. So just take a moment, close your eyes, and give thanks to your angels, teachers, and gods, especially your guardian angel, updating all your reference points all the ways in which you perceive and you are perceived in the world and I ask that you're wrapped in sheets of rainbow light gently sealing this work in to whatever degree is appropriate for your spiritual evolutionary state so be it and so it is thank you for calling thanks can you I still don't really understand who this parallel life dimensional aspect of self why would I attach myself to why was that? If it's not my life, I don't understand how you're going to get attached to someone else. Okay, so um, you're a multidimensional being. Most of us uh-huh. don't realize that, but let me tell you that it's true. And so there are yes. many aspects of you running around in the universe at okay. the same time. And um, some of them are incarnated on the earth plane. In fact, this one is. Um, she's in some almost like a third world country. Um, oh. And yeah, where they're they're on the whole, there's not enough. And her husband is like um, being cruel as well, which makes it just that much worse. Um, right. And some are, uh, you know, some aspects of you are not in incarnation anywhere. Uh, you're in the celestial. Um, and sometimes we have aspects that are incarnated on other planets and other solar systems. Even. Right. Um, and it, it, there's a finite number of them, and I don't know how many. My guess is because everything seems to be based on sacred geometry, and the number 144 comes up so often that my guess is mm-hmm. that we have 144 aspects huh. running around. And, but right. we're all one, you know, we're all parts of one soul. So um, it's different than uh, a past life or an ancestral. Mm-hmm issue um this Mm. is just you know um it's part of your own self and that person is alive now yeah yeah somewhere in the world interesting huh yeah okay you know i mean sometimes uh people actually meet other aspects of themselves or they pass them on the street may not recognize but you know Uh um yeah so yeah it's, it's an interesting complex world that we live in and reality is more what we think it is um it's so much larger and more complex than we could possibly imagine with our little little minds (laughs) and you know and 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 i i don't even understand it all Uh, i just you know i basically i share what i've learned up to this point but you know i'm still learning do you still have the blessings Yeah, the uh, blessing yeah, yeah, card. I do. Yeah. The one was authority, yeah. peace, and confidence, and the second was well, authority, centering. Authority, power. power, and confidence, yeah. Because um, that's what she doesn't have. And, and the she, second she, one was? She, yeah, centeredness and calmness that enables you to okay. see and accomplish your purpose in this lifetime. And the final one was opening to miracles. Got it. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Hope this helps. Right. Okay. okay. Thanks for the show. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So uh, I'm available if you want to call in. The number is area code 657-383-1895. And I have been living in the North Georgia mountains now for the past four years, and I've kind of been a hermit. I've had an office here in town. Uh, shall we say there are not that many like-minded people? up here in this little mountain town that I live in. Um, so I've just kind of been hiding away on the mountaintop. And part of what I'm doing by moving to Tallahassee, it's a major city. It's the capital of the state of Florida. It has two major universities, a college, uh, lots of people. And apparently um, it's a metaphysical, spiritual dry place. Uh, there are no metaphysical bookstores in this town. Um, there are two crystal shops, but rather than being a spiritual um, uh, oasis like most crystal shops are, they only sell crystals. Uh, they don't do any classes. They don't um, 
have any readings. They, you know, they just, they're like a home decorator store with incense, from what I can tell. Um, and I went on to meet up to see if there were any spiritual and metaphysical meetups. And there was a yoga meetup and a meditation meetup. That was it. So I guess I'm going to Tallahassee to um, anchor light and open up uh, new opportunities for people to find, you know, find how to grow in consciousness and clear away their box. You know, I mean, on the surface, I'm going down to be closer to my family, but this is really exciting um, to kind of be able to go into a new place and be a way shower. Uh, and it's not something I'm used to. I didn't really intend to do that when I moved up here to the mountains. I was here to work on myself and do a lot of inner work in a place that was very peaceful. So, you know, stay tuned for this story as it unfolds and um, it'll be interesting to see. And if any of you guys are listening out there from Tallahassee, Florida, I'm coming. So call on in and let's talk about it. Um, So another thing that I would like to do today while we're waiting for more callers to call is I've got my Being of Love uh, card, and I want to see what we are working on mastery of for today. So let me just shuffle these cards up, and I'm going to pull five. Um, These cards are quite interesting. I bought them many years ago in Holland. Um, and I'm, I think they're even out of print now. I don't know that the, the young lady who created them even markets them anymore. But um, oh, we're working on tapping into spiritual guidance. And we have a challenge with that. The first challenge that we face as we are learning how to tap into our spiritual guidance is claiming our power as co-creator. And the tool we're going to use to overcome that challenge is our timelessness. And the second challenge that we have is um, understanding that we're, we are in co-creation with force. And our tool that we're going to use is staying present and being in the now. So what does this mean to me? Well, for so long, for eons and lifetimes and, and years and whatever, we have sold ourselves short. We've settled and we've been told and taught that uh, we weren't um, co-creators, that we, you know, that that was not our job, that that was the job of God that we were separate from. And part of this emergence into fifth dimensional reality is claiming our oneness remembering our truth, stepping into our power, and becoming accountable and responsible for the reality that we see in front of us because we do create it. We create it with our thoughts. So how does timelessness play into this? If we allow ourselves to tap into the aspect of timelessness, then we're able to use the tools from all, every time that we've ever been in incarnation anywhere. So it opens our tool bag to be much more full and robust. But the only time that we can create is when we are in the present moment. So by staying present, by staying fully conscious, then you have access to all of this stuff and know that time is an illusion. There is no such thing. And it's it's a trap to keep you stuck in loss of power. So that's that. And we have another caller. The caller is area code 706. So who am I speaking with? I'm Mary Ellen. Hi, Mary Ellen. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I just tuned in. Oh, cool. So where are you located, Mary Ellen? In Georgia. Yeah, me too. But, I mean, we're in 706 because that's where I'm living right now. (laughs) Oh, Delonica. Okay, yeah. I'm currently living in Blairsville until Thursday. Well, see, we're like right at hop, skip, and a jump. (laughs) That's right. In fact, I had lunch in Delonica on Saturday at Shenanigans. That's a very good place to have lunch. 
<laughs> it is a very good place to have lunch. So how can I help you today? Well, I just tuned in, so I'm not sure where where you are on this conversation. So, okay. um, are you um, is she like a uh, like a shaman? A yes, shaman. What I what I do is um, many years ago I channeled a healing modality called Interspeak, and what it is, it's like a language for the soul, and it it enables you to connect in with your higher self and actually hear what your higher self wants you to hear. Because, you know, your your soul, your higher self is talking to you all the time. We just don't know the language. So more often than not, we think it's just monkey chatter or our imagination, and we miss the clues. And so that's what this, this tool does. And uh, so after after I brought it in and started using it, client, um, my guides told me that if I would create a deck of cards, that there were tons and tons of people who would never come to me for a private session, and they wouldn't take a class, and they probably wouldn't read a book, but they would play with cards. And so they showed me how to make the inner cards. And so that's what I use. And what I do is I help you unstick any area of your life that you're feeling blocked in or it's not going exactly the way you want, then we can clear that um, fairly quickly here on the air. So, All right. What, so what's going on in your life that um, you would like to um, move from or clear? Well, I would like the uh, – I've been waiting for a contract uh, to come mm-hmm. through. And, I, you know, it seems like uh, it's not that it, – well, it is taking a, a long time. I know mm-hmm. that he's been getting everything in line, and I would just like that air cleared that we can go forward. Okay, cool. Well, now, you know, you really don't want this contract to come through until um, after September 5th when Mercury goes direct. Um, right. Because, yeah, so that's part of your delay. Um, another part of your delay is Saturn has been retrograde now for many months, and Saturn represents time and form, and, and so everything that that you've been waiting for during Saturn's retrograde period has taken way longer than it should have. Um, so those those are the energetics of it. But let's see where you set this block up for yourself because if you were blocking in some way, neither one of those retrogrades would have made a, made a hill of beans, right? So right. just take a moment, surrender to spirit, and ask for help in looking at what we need to look at today for your highest and best good. Okay. Okay, so... Let's see where – this is a block that was created in this lifetime. So let's see when. Was she um, less than five years old? Mm, actually, yeah. Uh, was she five? Was she, what happened when you were four? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's uh, – something just came to mind. No, I'm just trying to, you know, I mean, I remember my birthday. I got a poodle skirt. I was really excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So I don't know. Um, all right. So I'm going to pull two of the orange cards from the Interstate deck, and they are the setup that your higher self says is what happened when she was four. Something happened that broke your little heart, and you were punished for something you didn't do. That's my kind of playing out now. Did. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of playing out now because, you know, you've been waiting for this contract to come and it feels like you're being punished for something that you didn't do. It should rightfully be there and all be taken care of, right? So the third car- set of cards in the Interstate deck, they're, or- uh, they're yellow. And this is soul reaction. So this is what this being punished for something you didn't do and getting your little heart broken when you were four did to you at the soul level. And this is where you are connecting to this now. It made you feel ashamed and humiliated. And there's a stuck belief that came from your little four-year-old self. So let's see what her stuck belief is so that you can acknowledge it and let it go. That would be, I can't have what I want. Go figure. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So let's clear this. So the the green cards are the clearing. So I'm going to pull... Three of the green cards, 
and we'll just do what they tell you to do. So the first one is this one, and then this one, then that's that one. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to pull all your energy inside your heart center, and I want you to connect heart to heart with your four-year-old self. And I want you to ask her, baby, what can I do to help you? See what she says. Okay. Okay. And then see where this block is. This block is in your second chakra. It's in the back. It's on your lower back. So what I want you to do is I want you to look in your imagination on your lower back. There's going to be a shape sitting back there. Uh, a lot of times they're geometric shapes, but it might look like a thing, um, or it just might be a block. And I want you just to ask spirit to take that away. And then I want you to invite your second chakra to open and release all the wounds from your childhood, from any other lifetime, from any ancestors you're holding on to. Release all those wounds and then just heal itself so that it can be fully open balanced and in alignment with all your other chakras so that all of your manifestation tools are working together in a perfect way. Okay. And then finally, in your imagination, I want you to take your four-year-old self by the hand and the two of you kneel and surrender to spirit and ask that all shame and humiliation be cleansed away from you totally. And just hold her little hands and just get a love bath from spirit. And you receive blessings from the angels for having the courage to call in today and do this work. So, your first blessing is the healing. Healing from your awakened inner self. Your second well, blessing is so renewed. Much. Well, you get more. Second blessing is okay. renewed faith in yourself. And there's one more. The return of your authority, power, and confidence. So, just, um, you know, know that you have the power as creator to make the thing happen, but don't get too anxious about it and, um, you know, rush because, you know, just let it fold as it's supposed to, but it will. And it's okay. gratitude that owns yes. every clearing, so just take a moment and give thanks to your angels, teachers, and guides. Well, You're not going all you of so your much. reference points. And wrapping you up in sheets of rainbow light, and we sealing this work in to whatever degree is appropriate for your spiritual evolutionary state. And I am so grateful to you for calling in. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, and I'm glad that you visited our little town. <laughs> okay. Have a great day. <laughs> All right, honey. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. All right, and we've got another caller, area code nine one six. Who am I speaking with? Hi. This is Dan speaking in California. Hi. I'm sorry. What did you say your name was? Oh, Nancy. Nancy. Okay. All right. So, Nancy, how can I help you? Well, I'd love to have a message from my higher spirit, my higher self. And okay. basically, basically, how can I be a, a clearer, open channel to spirit in help in my healing work? Okay. All right. So just take a moment to surrender to spirit and ask for help in looking at what we need to look at today for your highest and best good. All right. So let's see what's blocking your ability to be the best and clearest channel. And the first card I pull says self-sabotage. So you're blocking yourself. You're already there, baby. So let's see what else. I want to pull another card. And so you feel kind of overwhelmed by other people who are doing similar things to you. And there's this feeling of maybe I don't measure up. And so you keep your mouth shut or you, you know, you don't step out in your confidence and your authority. So I'm going to pull two of the orange cards and let's see um, where, uh, what, let's see what the setup is around this. Oh, this one just wants to come. Um, and this is interesting. Um, hmm. What it says is arranged or no love marriage. 
punished for another's misdeed. Now, that might not necessarily be a partnership marriage relationship, um, oh. but it might be your relationship with um, yourself or your work. I don't know. Does any of that resonate? It could be a relationship, too. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's look at the, the third set of the inner speak cards, which are the yellow cards, and that's the, what the soul reaction is to this. What this is doing to you at the soul level. And what it says is your ability to be in relationship has been disrupted. So not only is there uh, a disruption in relationship, but it's also your relationship to spirit, your relationship to your guides. And there's a stuck belief. And once we get that, we're going to clear this to deal with this anymore. The stuck belief is I'm not lovable. Okay. Let's clear it. Shuffle up these green cards and get everybody else's energy off of them. And make them just open for Nancy. And I'm going to pull three. So the first thing, you've got energetic debris inside your body and out in your field that looks like mirrors and most of them Nancy are facing away from you um so your information um your vibrations and all that that's trying to get to you is being reflected away by these mirrors what these mirrors are doing is they are bringing attracting to you people places and situations that make you feel not lovable because they're they're energetic, energetic debris and like attracts like, so that's what they're doing. But they're they're blocking, and there's a whole bunch of them over your head. So what I want you to do is I want you to ask spirit to locate all the mirrors inside your body and out in your field and take them away, take them to the light. Good job. And because of things that you have either seen or you haven't wanted to see, your third eye is blocked. So I want you to invite your third eye to open and to release all of the wounds that are inside in the front and in the back, keeping you from being able to see clearly and receive information from spirit. And then just allow the third eye to balance its energy, yin and yang, and to align itself with all your other chakras. Finally, there is a beautiful angel that has a message for you. The angel's name is Micah. Micah is the angel of your divine plan. Micah wants to talk to you about why you're here. And because you are having difficulty with your receiving the guidance, Micah's going to write you a message on a big piece of paper. And so just hold the paper up for Micah to write your message on it. And when you feel like Micah's done, turn the paper around and read your message. And you receive blessings from the angel for having the courage to face this, to look at this, and to um, let it go. So I'm going to pull three of the violet cards. Mm -hmm. The first one was a healing, healing from your awakened inner. The second blessing is union and the ability to accept love from yourself, from spirit, from angels and guides, from your relationships and from your family. And the final blessing is opening to miracles. And it's gratitude that owns this. So just take a moment and give thanks to your angels, your teachers, your guides, all those of the light who are surrounding you, who are there talking to you always. And you are really connected, baby. Um, You've just been blocking yourself. So I was wondering, because I know I've I've had experiences where I've actually met angels and I've talked Mm -hmm. 
you know, other be and, and but it doesn't happen all the time, and so that's where I thought the blockage was, you know, because I know I'm well, capable of having that interaction. They don't. They're not. They don't appear to us all the time. They come when we need them. You know. Now they will come when you ask. Uh, I read the the most incredible little book many many years ago uh, by a woman by the name of Jean Slater, and the book is called Hiring the Heavens. And what she said was that, you know, there are millions of unemployed angels out there. And all they want to do is help us, talk to us, be with us, but we have to invite them. Right. So one of the things we forget to do is to call in the angels, to invite them, to be present with us, to share with us. And then the second thing we forget to do is to sit in the silence because it's only when you are sitting in the silence that you're actually able to hear that okay. so i hope that helps it helps it helps that's what i've been doing is uh, meditating you know daily and um, mm-hmm. asking for my angels and asking for my guides so yeah do you write do you journal yes i do okay I do so experiences and- well, I, what I want you to do is I want you to, when you're meditating, um, before you go into meditation, get your journal out and write in there, what is the message that spirit has for me today? Okay. And then just write. And just preform. Don't worry about punctuation, spelling. Just let it flow. And just know you're going to say, oh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm making this happen. I'm imagining this. And it. So just let that go. And just write and do that every day. And okay. pretty soon you're going to begin to see, whoa, some of the stuff that I'm writing is really profound. <laughs> well, I'll definitely give it a try there. Yeah. That's- All right. Good for you. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. I appreciate you calling in. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh huh. All right, listeners, area code 657-383-1895. And don't forget to press one. And, um, yeah, so Nancy brought up a really good point. And and you guys know that every time I do one of these clearings for somebody who calls in, everyone who resonates with that is receiving the same. Listening in the archive, still working. So know that. But Nancy brought up a really good point. And that is that how connected we all are, but we don't realize it, or we forget, or we think we're not good enough to do it. So, you know, you can work hard to develop your intuitive skills, and you can take psychic development classes all day long, but if you don't trust yourself, nobody can teach you that. And So trusting yourself, listening to yourself, and making the time for spirit to communicate with you is so important. Uh, You know, I can't stress it enough. It's it's part of my morning every morning. It's the first thing I do when I get up. Well, no, that's not true. Uh, I go to the bathroom. I go make myself a latte, and then I meditate. And um, I do it every morning, and I write every morning. I do what I just told Nancy to do. And, and ask, what is my message? Uh, what do I need to know today? There's another way to put that. So these are all things that you can do because, you know, we, we all have the ability to do this. And we can all one. We're all one and the same. We're just different aspects of creator. And so, yeah. All right. So I don't appear to have any more callers. Um, I'm going to give it just for a minute or two. And then I will make the show a wrap. But while I'm doing this, I want to let you guys know that I uh, have announced as part of my emergence and reinventing myself that was in my newsletter that I put out yesterday, um, I'm teaching several uh, web-based classes. They're reasonably priced classes. The first two are going to be hands-on healing classes. Uh, The first one is Healing with the Seven Rays. And uh, these are, they're both going to be in October. Healing with the Seven Rays is the first one, which is um, using what's the Ascended Masters to um, do hands-on healing. And it's also a remote tool as well. 
Um, so part of this class is an introduction where you actually get to meet the Ascended Masters and receive gifts from them. So it's, it's a pretty profound class, quite intense. Um, the second one is called Karuna Key. And for those of you who have been doing Reiki, Karuna Key is, well, Karuna means compassionate. It's the compassionate form of Reiki, but I kind of call it the butt-kicking Reiki because you get 12 more symbols. And these symbols are so powerful um, that they give you the ability to really just drill down into the source of an issue and lift it out. Um, and so this is also going to be an online class, and um, we'll be using Zoom. So you'll be seeing me. I'll be seeing you. And um, you get certifications with both of these classes so that you're, you're certified um, to uh, – well, with the seven rays, you're not certified to teach it. With Karuna, you will be certified to teach it at the end of the class. So um, check out my website, jeanadrian.com, and check, go to the classes page. And uh, it's work with Jean. It says work with Jean on the top toolbar, and then drop down and it says classes. Um, and uh, check out the classes and sign up. I look forward to working with you. And so until next time, remember, people who take responsibility for their lives create the reality they desire. It's been my pleasure to support you and work with you today, and I look forward to working with you next Monday. Join me then. Love. Bye-bye. Hi, you've reached the High Fashion Hotline. Hi, my family is hosting a barbecue for Labor Day, and we need our style to look smoking. Try Old Navy. You guys will look BB cute. Old Navy? Yep, right now at Old Navy's Labor Day sale, the styles your family loves are all 50% off. Get 50% off all jeans, dresses, and tees. 50% off all jeans, all dresses, and all tees? You bet, all 50% off at Old Navy and OldNavy.com. Honey, get those dogs off the grill. We're going to Old Navy. High Fashion, Old Navy. Valid 831-94 excludes license, men's packaged, and clearance. Support for this podcast comes from DICE. With over 70,000 tech jobs and career resources like their salary predictor, DICE is the free way to hack your career in tech. Visit dice.com slash can you hack it for more info.